Hey, 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 Vita back with a second video for today. Let's get started. Let's hop on in, see what the guys would like the collective to be aware of. I am feeling like there's someone in your energy who feels quite bitter, a bit embattled, could have to do with you standing firm, speaking your truth, being authentic. This person is very false. They don't know how to be who they are in the world invest in real estate it was in the reverse this person could have invested in some real estate something didn't go well they're mad you are your fears do not be afraid there's something that you are working through coming out of some sort of fear it could have to do with sobriety sobriety will benefit your life the angels support you with this effort or this could be the person that is uh, connected to you some kind of way. They're having difficulty with some sort of addiction. They see that you are clear and sober and they want to mimic you or just live a better life. And this could be a fear of them. Maybe this person has been so reliant on external substances or liquids okay to uh they don't know how to live any other way and maybe they're sobering up because they made some really bad investments and they're not sure how they're going to get out of whatever situation this is we also have it's okay to be an outsider disconnection is necessary to make you an individual in your own right i feel like this is something that you've done you're continuing to do and this person is watching you do that and they're trying to get get up the courage, literally, to be alone. It is dangerous to suppress your natural energy. Find a healthy outlet to release tensions and stress. Stress. So yeah, someone's under a bit of stress. They just they they want to be different. They want to be who they think they are. They're not clear on who they are. Abandon yourself to energy that fuels the birth of all things. Form a union with the divine. Don't be shy. You're forming a union with the divine. I feel like you're strengthening your bond. There's something new that you're developing about yourself. And it could be frightening. It could be very exciting. It could have to do with your psychic abilities. Something that you might have hidden from others for a very long time and now you're coming into your own fully authentically because you know how dangerous it is to suppress your natural energy your natural gifts what god sent you here to do living fully flow with your desires to stimulate stimulate oh my god okay let's try this again flow with your desires to stimulate your creative power and manifest manifest success so you're doing your work and you know you got more work to do there's something that you want to work towards and this could be a fear because it's going to require more of you than you've ever given to anything or anyone before some could be expecting a child for the first time that's overwhelming scary but also very exhilarating so there's choices here to make and in addition to you making these choices for yourself you could be feeling the, the pull of someone in your energy who is really trying to uh, see the light see the light in a situation that could involve real estate money. So let's keep going. Abandon yourself to the energy that fuels the birth of all things. Form a union with the divine. Don't be shy of your magic. Right? Don't be shy of showing people just how much you really can bring to not just the table, but the castle. Right? Your royalty. Your royalty and you know it. Imprisonment. Ooh, I'm telling you. Oh, wow. 
this did kind of land sideways here. So again, someone who might have been struggling with addictions could have gotten in some trouble. They could have even gotten into an accident where they caused no harm to anyone else but themselves. They heard the angels speak. They know that if they ask, if they form this union with the divine, they will be supported by the angels. They feel imprisoned because they are not living. They're not flowing to their desires with their desires. They can't be stimulated. They could be very bored. They're living in fear. They don't want to be afraid. They could be seen as dangerous even to others, and they could be facing a prison sentence or at a minimum some sort of uh, restitution for something, some damage of some sort, physical damage, bodily damage. Flow with your desires to stimulate your creative power and manifest success. Manifesting success, that's what we're all here to do, however we define success, right? Success for one person isn't the same as how it might be for someone else. Some of you could really like reading, writing, music, singing, dancing. In addition to if you have a job, you know, something nine to five, maybe you're about to leave that nine to five or that eight to four. You're ready to uh, spread your wings. You're getting older, perhaps. You don't want to suppress your creativity any longer all right are we not going to get anything I've, okay despair it landed on sobriety so this person someone next to you close to you is struggling very much pathway they chose a different path they don't like where they're headed they don't like where their mind is at you could have recently invested in real estate, had a windfall, something something you've done could be making the news, you could be uh, doing interviews even, you know, podcast, you could be a podcaster. Whatever you're doing, it's manifesting success, and if you're already quite successful in the public eye, then your visibility is increasing, something like that. Someone's in despair, they're able to see you, watch you, hear about what you're doing. Where was I? You are, okay, I think I was there, but we're just going to go here. You are your fears. Do not be afraid. Okay. Privileged lady is sideways and it landed between sobriety and you are your fears. Huh. Message of concern. So someone's got some concern about someone else's privilege or someone losing their privilege. This privileged lady here could be this despair facing imprisonment. There is some uh, diagonal force energy going on right here, but let's keep keep on keeping on. Let's see what else we get. This could be you. Maybe you're feeling a little bit sideways. Maybe you've already manifested this success and it's more than you ever could dream of and it's got you thrown off a little bit. Maybe you don't feel you deserve it. Maybe someone told you all your life you didn't des deserve anything. Other than the bee and the slammer or to be in the gutter, you're proving a lot of people wrong. Flow with your desires. Okay. It's not coming out, but let's look at it. Courthouse in the reverse. You're putting the upright and then we've got occupation at the bottom. Flow with your desires. So this very well could have to do with you leaving an occupation, starting something new or in addition to. Woo! that coffin good lord distant horizon so you're putting an end to something you are putting an end to something because you know what you deserve and it is the world you're here to become everything that you've ever wanted to be it is dangerous to suppress your natural energy. <laughs> House. And then we have false person. That's interesting. So we got a couple of energies up in here. 
up in here. One feels a little bit invasive, a little jealous because we've got house here and we do have invest in real estate here. Imprisonment, privileged lady. I'm going to get more intel before I read this because it can go a couple of ways, but I really want to focus on what the collective is doing. And it is about finding those healthy outlets to release tension and stress. If you're feeling tension and stress because you haven't been going with your natural flow, you're making corrections, right? Maybe you're not being stimulated enough. Maybe you're in an environment that's quite boring, lacks creativity, the decor is garbage, trash. Hmm. Let's go. Let's keep let's keep on. Let's keep on. What else can we get here? Let's go with this. No, where's my other deck? Yeah. All right. Why is this imprisonment card here? Imprisonment. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. We got lovers. It's in the reverse and it landed on house. That's in the upright. So this very well could be someone that made a choice to leave a home. They felt suppressed. They felt that they were never going to be able to breathe properly again. Or that's the way they're feeling now. There's some sort of ending here. Someone is walking away from a real estate investment. I'm just going to leave lovers here. It is a seven in reverse. It's got chariot energy too. Wait, this is the chariot. Good dog. I should wear my glasses, but I got that kind of vision. Like if I wear my glasses, I'm not going to be able to see the cards at all. So anyway, this is chariot. It's in the reverse. I put it with the card. The chariot can be about force, movement, power, manifestation, success, victory. It's in the reverse with house. Someone has suppressed their natural energy for far too long. It's created addictions that are causing additional problems. This person is not only just seen as false, but they feel very false and they could be in a lot of bad health. They are lacking honor. They lack honor. All right, let's try. Okay, wait, what? Star is at the bottom trying to heal. Trying to heal. They've been in a... They've been self-sabotaging. Someone has been self-sabotaging. And self-sabotage doesn't have to be like abusing alcohol or drugs. It could just be like not doing what you know you need to do in the time that you need to do it. Imprisonment. Four of swords. What's at the bottom? The world. Hmm. Four of Swords. Let's see, this is uh, grave markers here in this card. And we do have the coffin here. Someone wants to put something to rest. They can't take it anymore. Someone can't handle living the way they're living anymore. They want to do something differently. They want to do what you're doing. Someone wants to do what you're doing. Let's keep going. Why is coffee here? Queen of Pentacles. Clarifying coffin. And then we have Seven of Cups. So this could certainly be your energy. You've put a lot of uh, your past to bed, buried it. You're manifesting this beautiful success through your creative abilities, your psychic abilities. You're stimulating others to do the same, to improve. I feel like 2024 isn't just about telling the truth, but it's about improvement, just overall improvement, which could be uh, why this year for many just feels very rocky starting off you know peaks and valleys peaks and valleys someone uh 
has not even, they're not peaking. You've reached several peaks. You've hit several valleys and you continue to rise because you know, you know what happens when you don't uh, work fully to be who you are. And it does take work, right? To be who you are in a, in a way, in a way. It takes bravery for sure. You're brave. Someone wants to be brave. Someone needs to be brave. Okay, let's get a card for despair. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Kind of landed sideways like that. This is interesting because we do have the Ten of Wands here. And see, with the Queen of Cups, it didn't land all the way upright. And when you think of cups, a cup with liquid, it is clarifying this despair and this sobriety thing here will benefit your life. So this could be a queen of cups that uh, a feminine energy that is that has had it with themselves. But they need to make put forth the effort. Someone hasn't put forth the effort for sure. I'm not sure what that has to do with you exactly. This could be someone that you're very close to or were, spouse, a parent, sibling, co-worker, however it might apply, if at all. Let's get another card for this, Queen of Cups. And again, this could be about your sobriety. Someone's in despair because you made, you cleared the path for yourself. You put things to rest. You put a lot of people on the back burner. You never went back to light the flame again. Someone was waiting for you to make a U-turn, come back. All is well type of energy. Let's just let bygones be bygones. Queen of Cups. All right, we got two of wands in it just kind of bounced around a little bit. So there's somebody trying to figure out something, some some kind of decision. This Queen of Cups could have made a mess, created a mess, some drama, something like that. Knight of Swords, it could be something legal for sure. Have to do with investments. We've already got imprisonment out, home. You are your fears. Two of Wands, two masculine energies here in this card. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, some drawings. This could be architecture. This could have to do with the home that was being built from the ground up. Now someone could be facing a uh, prison sentence. It could have to do with bribing officials. I know in Chicago, it can take absolutely forever to get permits. Um, but when you know people, sometimes you can uh, get through these different types of bureaucratic red tapes or whatever you want to call it. So that could certainly be something someone partnered with, someone in a political position who misused their authority. Something's being found out, revealed. This could be real estate that was acquired through tax sales illegally, something like that. Some kind of scheme I'm feeling is starting to form here, which could have caused someone to uh, start drinking a lot. It is dangerous. Home, chariot in reverse. Someone's been threatened if they leave a home, it's just going to be the end for them. Hmm. Let's keep going. Privilege, lady, sideways. You are your fears. Don't be afraid. Someone wanted you to be afraid. This is Ten of Wands. It's in the reverse. It landed here on this Two of Wands with Despair and Queen of Cups. And then we have Fool. The Fool here is quite different from what you see in the traditional Rider Waite tarot card. There's no cliff. Someone is bound. This could be psychiatric, psychiatric hold, even with this imprisonment card here. Abandoned, someone feels abandoned, 
by you. They're not able to heal. They're trying to heal, but they're not able to. Ten of Wands in reverse. They don't feel there's anywhere left to go. The grave has been dug too deep. They can't get out of it. <sighs> you are your fears. Do not be afraid. Four of Wands. And it's kind of sideways still. I don't know what's going on with this sideways energy. It's weird. Four of Pentacles. Someone's got to move. They don't want to. Someone's got to spend money that they might not even have. Someone could have to. Uh, this could be a very grand home and someone doesn't have, no longer has the resources to maintain this home. This could be a home that they've had for a very long time, a family home. They have to give it up. They have to sell it. And maybe they've taken out most of the equity. And so when they sell it, it's not going to be. For much of anything, certainly not enough for them to uh, benefit from. But they know they have to get sober. Sober will be sobriety will benefit your life. The angels support you. Four of Pentacles. Someone's still stuck holding on to old ways, old ways of doing things that aren't working any longer in the new world. Hmm. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. There's a false person here that's being forced in a corner. They have to face the truth. They have to face the truth about what they've done to uh, be in the situation that they're in. Someone has to be made accountable. They have to be accountable. Someone doesn't want to be responsible or admit to what they've done. Let's get this back. Imprisonment, Four of Swords. Imprisonment, Four of Swords. Are these upgrades? Okay. Imprisonment, Four of Swords. No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. They kind of landed on this Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to leave it with the imprisonment card because I really feel like this message is exactly what it started out as being. And that is it's time for someone to abandon their inner their abandon yourself to the energy that fuels the birth, right? And coffin can be rebirth. Fuels the birth of all things form a union with the divine here we've got king warrior army very much um physical in the physical world but whatever situation this is it requires a higher power that isn't going to respond to this particular individual or individuals because they have they're not they haven't come all the way around yet when it comes to their beliefs, their awakening awakening process. They could still be thinking everything. Like if they're watching you, if you're someone that speaks a lot about spirituality, they hear you, but they don't hear you. Someone could still be mocking your beliefs that I feel like you might at times be quite vocal about. You could be very vocal when it comes to your belief in the divine and how much support you do receive. It's being shown in the physical world, but there are people that don't believe that your beauty, your gifts, your acquisitions are coming from any place other than perhaps they could feel that you've manipulated things to get what you have, but that's not your problem. So someone is a... They're going to have to face whatever this is, face their fears, admit to the truth, see the truth, take the blinders off, make the necessary move. Someone refuses to move to work. They're stuck feeling tension and stress. They know that they have to do something different or they're just they're going to wilt away. And they know the current situation that they're in 
is very dangerous. There's some sort of buildup that is occurring. It could even want to hurt someone. Oh, look, hostile spiritual takeover at the bottom. So yeah, someone feels like they, they, they're literally possessed. Maybe they uh, didn't truly believe in the devil, although they were doing devilish things. And now they're seeing a darkness unlike anything they've, they've ever had to uh, contend with. And it, it's frightening them. You are your fears. Do not be afraid. Whoa. They are lying to your face. Aquarius, Leo, Aries. It did land right on this chariot in reverse with house. Is dangerous to suppress. Someone's a liar. Someone's a liar. It could be this privileged lady that's sideways, and it could have to do with this Four of Wands, which I feel is this home here. Someone's a liar. Behavior modification. They haven't changed. This privileged lady who might not be so very privileged anymore, is a liar. A lot of whatever this is, is because of her lies. He or she, flip it how it might flip. Sobriety will benefit your life. The angels support you with this effort. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Very interesting because she can't cook or clean the house properly. So this could have to do with someone that left a queen of pentacles for a queen of cups. Or vice versa. Yeah, because we've got despair here, but then we've got coffin here. You could be both of these energies are embodying both the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups but whatever this is you are being a, you're the benefactor of blessings and it's being shown to others in what they feel could be a very crude way but you're not bragging the success that you're manifesting it's not anything you're bragging about but some people, you can't literal, you cannot mention to them that, okay, I'm buying a house. You can't tell people that because a lot of times they don't care. They don't want to hear about anyone doing better than them. I can't stress that enough. It's just what it is. Okay, where am I? Flow with your desires to stimulate your creative power and manifest success. It landed with a smack on this house and this chariot in the reverse. This is saying she is hiding a criminal past, will always be a thief and a liar, loves cocaine. Okay. You've shown me what life is, what life isn't. Thank you, my love is at the bottom. So this is about someone this sobriety could have way more to do with than just alcohol because we got cocaine now on the table. <sighs> This person is a liar. They're not uh, ashamed of their habits. Someone realizes that this person isn't going to get clean. They know it's over with you. Hence the coffin here. Not cool, man. Not cool. So there's someone hiding a criminal past. Maybe that's what's been found out. It could be a, um, what do you call it, a serial scammer, thief type of person. Could even be a real estate agent, a false person. Ace of Swords, behind Ace of Swords, we've got Nine of Wands, that's a Ten. Three of Swords, and then we have Eight of Cups. So someone is moving away from someone else who's caused them a lot of heartbreak and legal troubles involving real estate, more or less. Could be a lot more. Obviously, it could be substances, substance abuse. This person could even have been in and out of rehab, cost a lot of money. Whew, okay, what else? 
quite a lot, quite a bit going on here. Flow with your desires. Stimulate your creative power and manifest success. And the other way you're doing this, obviously, is by staying away from dramatic people that aren't actors, you know? Manifesting success. <laughs> they can do what they want with their life. They cannot do what they want with yours. And it landed with this criminal past person who likes the powder. So someone is no longer under the influence or forces of another spirit that is quite jealous, manipulative, honorary, rarely sober. They're trying to figure out how to get out of this house. They can't breathe. It's too much. This person could be working quite a bit. He works too much and spends too much. Not a good match. Pisces, if they are in a relationship with this person, it's not a good match. If they want to come toward you at this time, it's not a good match. Because there's a lot going on with this energy or these energies. And uh, they continue to kind of uh, twirl around you, collective I kind of want to know more, but not really. Yeah. All right. We'll just get some final messages. Final messages for the collective. You know what you got to do. Keep doing it right. Keep loving yourself. Stay in your lane. Clear cognizance. All right. Archangel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. That's lovely. Your clear cognizance could really be kicking up and that's accelerating this success that you're manifesting. Your prayers are being heard, honored. You live, you're living in gratitude. You could even be receiving some sort of award, some sort of industry recognition award, crystal clear intentions, and we've got sobriety will benefit your life. So if some of you are not necessarily struggling with any sort of uh, addiction issues, but maybe you drink like a glass of wine every night when you get home from work to unwind. And you're thinking, you know, I kind of been doing this now for 5, 10, 20 years and this wine isn't tasting as good as it once did. I'm not sleeping all that great. This could be for you here. You know, maybe it's time to let that one glass of wine go or that one uh, little tumbler of whiskey or whatever, you know, whatever is your pleasure. Maybe you yourself are recognizing that these little pleasures at this point where you are aren't really benefiting you. Okay, let's get another card. One more. Any more messages, please? And thank you, Spirit. Nurture. This card came out yesterday. Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So maybe if you have children, small children, and you've been so busy with work and you're feeling guilty because you come home, maybe you're very tired and you have that glass of wine and you're not able to focus to provide how you want to provide or something like that. Um, this, this might resonate with you a little bit or not, but it's important to nurture your own inner child by not suppressing your creative outlets. Yep. Okay. Take back your power. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. We already have manifest success down here. So you are taking back your power. If you feel like you haven't done so fully, you're working on it. 
some things can't be rushed. It's, you know what I'm saying? Some things, it's like you lose lose weight. You try to lose weight at a certain age. It's not as fast. It doesn't happen as fast. You know, that sort of thing. And that has to do with manifestations. Manifestations aren't usually instant. And if they are, then they can manifest out of your life just as quickly. So continue to take back your power. Let's get one more. One more. One more. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, boy, I love this card. Ooh, here we go again. Chakra clearing, all that purple. This combination came out, I think, last week. Spiritual understanding, Archangel Raziel. Did we see him already? I don't know. No, that was Uriel. Okay, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So I really feel like you are helping whoever this is that's struggling quite a bit in their life with their spiritual understanding. I don't know if you're doing this directly or if it's through their observation, but you are indeed doing that as your spiritual understanding continues to increase with all of these light codes and activations that you are receiving, okay? And then lastly, we've got this chakra clearing, Archangel Metatron coming through yet again, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So we've got ge geometric, geometry, spiritual, sacred, twice, okay? So that's very important. Continue to, to pay attention to the synchronicities. I know I, I've been seeing a lot lately. Um, not so much today, because I haven't gone anywhere today, which is feels quite fabulous to not have to leave the home early in the morning. So that's what I have collective. I will see you guys soon in another video.